Locking game like a chainsaw hunter used to. Living off the land is my gift from God. Packing heat with my rock. All my fish in a run. Those red dirt roots take me where I wanna go. To my camel dirt blind of that old fishing hole. Nature creepin's the only thing I know, but I can't get there without these red dirt roots. Carter Chevrolet presents Red Dirt Roots. What makes Carter Chevrolet different? Well, maybe it's our downtown location. Or our state-of-the-art showroom. It could be our friendly four-legged staff. Or it's the fact that we like people. That's why we always say that slogan thing, we're making friends and selling cars, in that order. That's the way our founder, Carter, did it. And that's the way we do it today. So if you want something different, head out to Okarchi and visit us at Carter Chevrolet, a business elite dealer right across the street from Aisha's Chevrolet. Find new roads. Lucky Lure Tackle, Oklahoma's premier supplier of quality fishing equipment and tackle. Whether you're a beginning fisherman or a tournament pro, Lucky Lure Tackle has the equipment and expertise to help you catch more fish. Lucky Lure's knowledgeable and friendly staff can help you find the equipment you need with aisles and aisles of quality fishing equipment and tackle, all at great prices. They can even re-spool your reels and recycle your old fishing line. Lucky Lure Tackle, the corner of Britain and May in Oklahoma City. Or check them out on the web at lltackle.com. Wet, or dry, or completely underwater. The Thunderstruck Turkey Call from Candy River Calls, not a problem. Well, on a previous edition of Red Dirt Roots Outdoors, you saw Kenneth Whitehead join pro staffer Aaron Howe for some coastal till hunting. Well, today they're going to trade the mud boats for a bigger boat and head offshore for some great offshore fishing. Uh, we pulled up offshore to this rig. We're using Savikis for uh, our bait, catching Blue Runner. And what's the name of the other bait we're catching? We're catching hardtails and threadfin herring. Hardtails and threadfin herring. Here you go. Oh, he's hooked up on something serious. Mm. Uh, yeah, it looked like probably a big blue runner. Or a big blue. All right, we've ran 60 miles out. Aaron's got this new boat that pretty much takes care of itself, autopilot, and we just kind of sat back and enjoyed the ride. We were coming out, saw flying fish going crazy. Put some lines out real quick, just hooked up with the Bonita. So then we're gonna troll for a little bit, see what we can come up with, maybe get some mahi-mahi to raise up. So hopefully we get into some good fish. You said there's no grass this year, so this is the only way to catch mahi mahi. Yeah, just the open water troll around it. Open water trolling. All right, well. That other rod. I thought it was Bonita. That's no, Bonita. Yeah. Bigger Bonita. Yep. Good fish. Alright, let's catch some more. Fish out again, they're liking that rig right there. I mean, that rig is it. Recording. with you? 
I'll tell you what. If we were, could you imagine putting that on a rig and trolling it fast trolling it for a marlin? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that'd be awesome. Got Kenneth rigging up an outrigger, about to get another fish on. All right, going out. Is it the Medita? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a mahi. We've gotten out here fishing, we've gotten into a pretty substantial school of bonita, so on the way to our fishing area we stopped, started trolling, and there's a, nothing a lot funner than, or there's nothing more fun than schooling bonita. They hit fast and hard, and they're beautiful. We'll spend just a little bit more time here trolling, catching these bonita. We'll want to see if there's something else here besides them. Let one of the guys catch one more and then we're going to zip out to the rigs. Trolled around with artificials, didn't pick anything up, so we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to pull up on the other side of this rig and we're going to drop down some live bait and speed jigs and see if we can pull up an amberjack. It's definitely gotten a lot rougher from when we first come out. The rollers have separated and gotten taller, so it's pretty rough. I gotta get down. Bait. Yep, that's what was down there. You know, I can sit there and do this all day long. I don't care how hard I try, I can't get that top water, fresh water bite out of my system. We're gonna do it again. You already lost your bait, Fuck yeah. Big Cody, you say? <laughs> Add that on video. Oh! They may want it paused. Yeah. I'll take the pull out. It's got. What you got, Cody? Hey, just come on. Nope. He's still there. Oh, I really don't feel too, too heavy, honestly. Yeah, it could be. Here it comes up. Yep, big old snapper. Big snapper right there. Big old snapper. Oh, he's a little snapper. He ain't that big. Here's air bladder. Pretty fish. Yep, air bladder popped out. Yeah. Gotta make sure. Hey, right, you got some uh some live bait stuff? Do I? You got some stuff that we can uh put just like a cut bait on? Here you go. Already rigged up? Yeah. That is a... Huh? Beautiful uh, fish, yeah, buddy. Appreciate it. Beautiful. Well, got okay, keep them. <laughs> I know it. Something just like my red snapper. <laughs> oh my gosh. Something. Sure it ain't an amberjack? It, it very possibly could be. Something hey, very mean no just got snapper. on him. That ain't no red snapper. You may move this right there and Yeah, smooth the gas tank. Stop it! Where are you going, dude? Oh, Golly. I'll let him break you off. I'll let him break you off. I think he's doing everything he can not to. <laughs> I move that gas can too. Here you go. Let me see the rods. You got it. Watch your hooks. Right here. Come. Cody. We'll be right back with more Red Dirt Roots and find out what they just hooked up on. 
What makes Carter Chevrolet different? Well, maybe it's our downtown location. Or our state-of-the-art showroom. It could be our friendly four-legged staff. Or it's the fact that we like people. That's why we always say that slogan thing, we're making friends and selling cars, in that order. That's the way our founder, Carter, did it, and that's the way we do it today. So if you want something different, head out to Okarchi and visit us at Carter Chevrolet, a business elite dealer right across the street from Aisha's Chevrolet. Find new roads. Lucky Lure Tack, Oklahoma's premier supplier of quality fishing equipment and tackle. Whether you're a beginning fisherman or a tournament pro, Lucky Lure Tackle has the equipment and expertise to help you catch more fish. Lucky Lure's knowledgeable and friendly staff can help you find the equipment you need with aisles and aisles of quality fishing equipment and tackle, all at great prices. They can even re-spool your reels and recycle your old fishing line. Lucky Lure Tackle, the corner of Britain and May in Oklahoma City, or check them out on the web at lltackle.com. Well, welcome back to Wilshire Gun Range, specifically Wilshire Archery Range. It should be called Disney World because dreams come true. And let me tell you why. March 5th, we're doing an expo. You can come in and buy a raffle ticket for a completely set up 2015 Chill X with a QAD, Bear Alpine 5 Arrow Quiver, Copper John 5 Pin with a sight, and tickets are 10 bucks. You can buy as many as you want. Also, Pigman's coming in, and guess what? He's bringing Sportsman's Channel with him. And we are gonna go to Rafter F and pulverize some pork, and it's all gonna be filmed, and I'm gonna be famous. Then, Sunday, we've got a tournament, Iron Buck, where you come in, you pay $10 to enter in with your arrow, and guess what we got to give away? Completely set up 2015 No Cam HTR, QAD Dropaway Bear Alpine Fiber Arrow Quiver Rod Jaw with the stabilizer. So, bring your friends, bring your buddies, bring your bows, and get ready to shoot, because we're going to have some fun. Our expo will include Matthews Expedition, Black Eagle, Gold Tip, Carbon Express, True Fire, Oki Wild, HHA, Boeing, Rage, Garland Animal Wellness, Terry's Taxidermy, Reinhardt, and G5 Rajah. They'll be here giving out t-shirts, showing off new product, and it's going to be a blast. We're 70 miles offshore on a set of rigs. Still on there? He's dropped down. A, did you use cut bait or live bait? It was, a, it was a speed jig with a piece of cut bait on it. Okay, he's dropped down a speed jig with a piece of cut bait on it and something very large smoked him. Smoked him on my back. You want a belt? Something, yeah. That's like perfect. Putting that fighting gimbal on. No homo. What we had to do was unhook from the rig to get this fish away from the rig. It's got enough power to pull him in and break off. And so. Oh, this is an awesome feeling. Huh? This is an awesome feeling. But yeah, let, it, let it get us around there. Our shark is on the You don't like that boat? No. Well, I like that boat. So what are we going to do about that? Keep getting him up. Huh? Keep getting him up. You don't want to do that. I bet I just spinning. I have black tip too. I gotta see his belly. Black tip? I gotta see his back fins. His back fins got white on them. It's a spinner. Spinners and blacks look real close to each other. You know, it looks like a big, yeah, a big black tip. Like shark? Yeah, that's real nice. Black tip too. Yeah, it is. I wanna see if we can get him in the boat. Uh, big sharks, they like to stay right there under the boat. Awesome. How does that even cost you? Click it. What are you going to do? Oh. 
Oh, that. But we didn't know what it was. We didn't want him to pull us into the rig. He's actually caught this shark on a speed jig, no wire leader. Speed jig's right in the corner of the shark's mouth, which is about as lucky as you can get not breaking off. And this is a really good black tip. comes in the boat, it's going to go crazy. I'm concerned about when we bring him in the boat, these gas. All right. That's one thing about sharks, man. When you fight them, you fight them the whole time. Yeah, he just took 30 feet, 40 feet on you in just a couple of seconds. Got it, didn't he? he just broke. All that work and he just broke. I really don't know what we would have done with him in the boat, but well, is that the biggest fight you've ever had? Is that the biggest fight you've ever had? Oh yeah, by far. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted one. Well, let's get another one. Trolling around these shrimp boats. That provides cover for a lot of these fish. A lot of the bait fish and such get under them because of the, the culling and everything else. And then come the predator fish, which is your kingfish and your cobia and other things. been trolling but probably two minutes and we've already lost one probably king on this line and he's already hooked up with another one so fish, fish out. double got a double move these off again that's the second time look under there look under that rig what is that big king following that like this fish out that's a good one Alright, this, this line's going to have to clear. <laughs> chaos. When you're on good fish and you're in a good area, it can absolutely turn to chaos. That's what it's all about right here. Yep. Oh, did y'all see that? I did. I seen it. What? It come yeah, up out of the water. came up and busted this one right here. Hey, what do you want to do with these fish? Did he get foul hooked? What you know about that? This right here is why I drove 10 hours to fish with Aaron. Good job, Kenneth. 
tell you what, we had uh, what, five rods go off in five minutes. I mean, that was insane. We lost two, or we lost three, picked up two. Oh, keep popping it. Burn it. Burn it in. Burn it in. Burn it in. There he is. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hey, got keep going. Got it. Oh, got it. hooked yeah. up. Yeah. We got one over here being gaffed. Got another one over here being fought. Nice, King. Fish on. Turn that clicker on. Right. Turn that clicker on. He's out there, boys. picture of it. Can you lift him? I don't know how good a hook that is on that one. Might want to tail him. Yeah, definitely tail him. It's so high. Come on, dang it. Drop it down. Double. Triple. 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 Quadruple. 
Everybody's got fish on. Everybody's got a fish. Nice. You've got color showing already. Oh, I thought Brian had a fish. Oh my gosh. I don't know what Kenneth's got, but it's big. Hold up. Oh, did you catch a trigger? Sure. Let me see. Yeah, those are some good eating little son of guns right there, if I can remember right. Yeah, they got yeah, season on them this year, though. Except why you won't be able to see it in the water. It's coming. Yeah. Uh -oh. Is he running from something? I don't know. He may be coming up to the boat. Well, he's acting like something's running from something because he's running straight up. See color. You do? Yep. Good. Another big snapper. Yeah, that's a big. Golly. Ooh. Swallowed it. Coming in. Doubled up. Doubled up. Doubled up. Oh, Marvin got his hands full. Well, as you can tell, the guys had a great fishing trip. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and join us next week for more Red Dirt Roots Outdoors. In the meantime, be sure and follow us on Facebook. Tell you what, catch and release, that ain't bad. That's, that's pretty fun. Yep. No. Right in the mouth. Yeah. Uh oh. We got something up here. Put set on the truck. Get him out. Oh, there. Thank our sponsors Caney River Calls, Let's Raise Some Cane, Carter Chevrolet, Lucky Lure Tackle, Village Tactical, and Art Jilson General Construction.